Welcome back to Let's Not Lose Africa. Uh, we do have the Hooper tanks here though. That, that's actually quite handy. And also the access lift and hangars are all to the south. So the aliens will be coming from, from the south of the base. Trying to head north. And these things are awesome. They, I think it's a bug, but they come fully armed. Unless you can build the ammo yourself, but it's not needed if the base is attacked. They could just get here fully armed. And you can just blow up a hangar. And as you can see, that is three aliens right there. I have another one of these. These little brilliant machines. Let's clear the corridors here. Ugh. That's the sound I love to hear. Once again, he dissolves into nothingness. Okay, not all aliens start off in the hangars, because you're definitely not part of my team. He was standing there like, yeah, I'm, I'm your guy, just click me, I'll do whatever you like. Yeah, this, this, let's see, this is the access lift. Mm, I'm gonna throw it down this corridor. I'm gonna blow up the other hangar, that's what I'm planning. Throw it down this corridor. And then through here. Through there. I think I can set nine waypoints, so it should be plenty. Through there. Here. Go up and then impact in the center. And I've got another two. Now let's set everybody up to move south in one swoop um, move. The snake men are not that much of a problem with the laser pistol, but chrysalids will take a beating as long as we have these little pew pew guns. <coughs> Internet Spaceships 4? This is so mean! I thought these things were just... That's what they say, right? They come in through the access lift and through the hangars. That, that is here. How does this guy start there? Well, there's not much I can do. You will be zombified. Because those blaster tanks can only fire once, yeah. That's just nasty, man. That is just uh, <laughs> uh, Talk about nasty, indeed. That is nasty. Well, I don't think uh, officially a, a soldier has been zombified in the actual universe yet. And that happened all in, in a parallel world. Yeah, let's get everybody involved. I know it's still probably going to be a lot of people, but uh, doesn't matter. Let's head south. Let's make the best of this. The problem here is that a lot of these uh, unnamed ones without armor, um, they are the ones that are inside training. And they really shouldn't die. I think this is pretty much it. Just a more caster, just get out and you'll join the ranks later on. You'll also face that way. Plenty of people. Earl of Trousers is in there. Mr. Paul is in there. Dewey Brun, who's still on his first soldier. Is doing rather well. And <laughs> internet spaceships who's Utterly boned. <laughs> That's it. There was a grenade, I think. What are these things doing? Okay. I do think they also went in here and hide in those little corridors. I'm not too happy about that. This is the Alchemist III. Kozirunen. We'll just form little groups.
And I thought I, wa I saw a grenade get thrown, but I guess I was wrong. Now I moved you guys, so I'm better off. It's a shame I don't know exactly where it happened because I could just chuck in a blaster launcher. Actually, I could scout with uh, an unnamed one. But these are all these are all named soldiers. These are all actual people. I don't want to throw you guys away. Yeah, this is gonna be tricky. Let's not get too hard, too ahead of the pack there. For Lord Fafnir and five aces, this is. Uh, Actually, Lord Fafnir is a cap captain already. But this is one of the first real dangerous missions that you are on. That's, that's one of the things I don't like about laser pistols. They really give the opportunity to react. Well, we'll just spread out the guys, move in, in small bursts so they can react if anything comes around the corner. And hopefully they'll react when a chrysalid uh, pops up. It's always a problem. Chrysalids themselves have high reactions. And it's like a dice roll for their reactions against our reactions. I will use you as a scout. Okay, well done. Tank gives instructions to Devilkin. We hit him twice. <laughs> you hit everything, including the alien, so that's fine. Oh, misclick. I want you to move. Yep, fan out, run. Uh, actually, this tank cannot be zombified, right? Make room. Hello! This is actually pretty good. This, let's see what happens. I can uh, kind of block the way here. Maybe that zombie can actually kill it. I don't know. Let, let, this is kind of an experiment here. And you might be a bit screwed. this way. Free Junk 1 is in a power suit. Let's get some backup here. This might turn out very ugly. Power suits, by the way, don't mean jack shit when it comes to chrysalids. Oh, there's more over here. The fact that I have to do this with laser pistols is horrible, because those zombies can take a real punishment. I'm guessing the tanks will have to come in handy. And I think this is pretty much it for the turn. We are fanning out. But this is, this is such a crap situation up here. I haven't seen any unnamed ones, by the way. These seem to be... Uh, ah, here's one. The rookie. Good luck. Let's see what they do. Can they hurt the tank? No, they move fast and they're confused. They're, I guess this is fine. I can confuse them with the tank. Yeah, that's right. React. Shoot them. They can hurt the tank, apparently. Or they just try. That's weird AI, that, that moving forward and backward. Oh, shit. And they can hurt the tank. They can hurt the tank. Well, let's just unload. Ah, 
and then get out of the way and unload. Aren't laser rifles or laser pistols fun? Eventually somebody will hit J-Man. Okay, that won't die, that's good. Oh, frustrating. Frustrating stuff. He died. That's good. That's four hits on him. He's just smiling. Five. Six. Seven. He's still smiling. And he's still alive. He actually is indicated as an alien still. Now he's dead. I think there's a small bug here going on that, that prevents me from getting live aliens if the map is this crowded. And that might prove difficult in the future. For now though, we have a crystal problem here. Um, and people can't move. Maybe that's for the better. That way you won't get zombified. I can chuck in a, a missile here and, and destroy these chrysalids utterly. That will destroy the tank itself and J-Man here and, and probably some other people as well. The explosion from this thing is massive. Yeah, I'm not too happy with the situations here. That was kind of lucky, but he's still alive. It doesn't matter for Snakeman though, when they get up again, they don't carry anything. Okay. That's a good thing about those tanks, they're good scouts as well. Our commander has a bit of a luck with the placement there. I don't think uh, any harm will come upon him. He's, he's right in the middle of the pack at the safe part of the base. He should be just fine. Uh, that was you, right? Let's clean him up. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Hey, you know what? Let's give the aliens a little sport and let's run fast the heavy plasmas that everybody has in their own locker. And just grab uh, all the laser pistols that we have lying around. We use laser pistols for everything in this base because we have so many. We cut the meat with them and, and use them as all kinds of tools. Yeah, this will be problematic here. Very, very problematic. But I don't see anything I can do except kind of commit ritual suicide here. And if I blow up this alien here, I'm guessing this entire corridor and this entire corridor will be emptied out. I'm not prepared to do that just yet. But it might come to that. I think I have to end my turn here, unless any of you have any bright ideas that they can radiate into the future. I doubt it. Let's go. Both of them. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, talk about uh, stuff going horribly bad. There is a chrysalid in this little room over here. We will flush him out. Take cover from the oncoming explosion. Because we are going to use the blaster launcher now. And we're going to let it impact. 
I would say right about there, right? That, wa that way the explosion will hopefully not spread into this corridor over here. Uh, actually, probably should let it impact a bit closer to home. Uh, like right over there. That did uh, far less than I hoped. Far, far less than I hoped. Uh, the zombies can kill people, but they cannot zombify other people. So let's take care of the prisoners first. If we indeed are uh, in, in a position that we can do that. But so far I would say that's not really happening. Okay. Well, at least I think we took care of the chrysalids for now. Uh, we, do two, uh, we do do have two zombies walking around and there was a guy over here that died. No doubt because he was shot by a snake went down the corridor here. Okay. He's doing some scouting here. And eventually I'm bringing up that uh, blaster launcher tank to the other side. To help out with the chrysalis problem over there. This is quite a mess. That I have gotten myself into today. Let's hope we can get out of this mess. There's something invisible here. Yeah, aliens that get up are invisible. Beware of the invisible chrysalid. Yeah, these are just two zombies left and they can kill people outright. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. Well, I risked it, <laughs> and it was a bad call. In fact, it was a good shot, though. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Mufatu. Thank you very, very much. Now, there's one zombie left here. He can take out the tank, maybe, but uh, we'll kill him. And let's hope I didn't miss any chrysalids sneaking off in the corners. Okay, that went by rather quickly. And this bastard here went off into this little... Ah, there he is. There he is. Thank you, Malkov. Alchemist, next. Yes, he screamed. Excellent. Let's hope that is the last of our chrysalid problem. A scout about over here. This could be one of the last, actually. I could just blow it up. Okay, I, I blew up something in the way. <laughs> This is not the alien I was looking for. These are not the aliens you are looking for. Now this hangar has been blown up quite eff effectively. The commander is just checking out the carnage. And there's still a snake man left over there, I think. That was a grenade. That might have hurt. No, Pronubi is fine. Man's like a rock. That takes care of that. Now there was uh, the matter of an alien sneaking into little corners. And the problem is all those corners look alike. Let's see if people just react on them. 
Ah, it was where all the dead bodies are. Somewhere over here. And I don't think he was carrying a weapon either. Let's converge. I think it's this little corner over here that he's sneaking in and out of. Come on, people, you had time units left. It's exactly for this particular set of circumstances. Can't let the commander do everything. Ooh. One hell of a mission. I lost eight guys, one live alien. Ooh. Well, everybody with a name got promoted. This is some sweaty palms here. It was a horrible, horrible mission. Eight guys. Not even uh, most of them on the Sky Ranger. Yeah, we have some power suit problems here. I'll have to transfer some from the other base. For now, I'll make do. Actually, uh, we could build them. And I will. Let's get rid of these ridiculous laser pistols. <laughs> All uh, 350 of them. Yeah, let's build us some proper stuff. There is some Illyrian here, right? Uh, power suits. 11 Illyrium, I'll transfer some. Everybody can help out. Just build as much as we can. Uh, let's transfer the A in Africa, yes. How much do we have? Ugh. The Illyrium Crisis is indeed back with a vengeance. Where is my battleship, dammit? Okay, yes, we ordered those. Yeah, I figured. We're going to the Arctic for some research. I'll give you something to study. Um, manufacturing was done, yeah. Well, that leaves Siams then too. Well, we're back to... Uh, damn it, we're back to laser pistols then. That's all there is to it. We need Illyrium. I thought I had more than this, but that's probably because I'm used to having a bit of a... We had that very large, we had 200 in, in supply, we don't anymore. I could build uh, five more suits. But for now we'll make do. Medium. This thing will land in Australia. And if it takes a little while for it to settle down, we should be able to get it by daylight. Let's try. In case it gets off the ground, we'll have the interceptor ready. Stun bomb! Now how the hell do we launch those things? Excellent! This should be, I think, 100 delirium. Might even be 150. And it's floaters, if I'm not mistaken. It should be a very doable mission. Now before anything happens... Illyrium. I know it's spelled differently, it was a mistype. <laughs> but yeah, let's save games when uh, we have the opportunity to do so at key moments. Now, I, I was about to save when the bad stuff happened, so extremely bad timing. That was one hit, right? Yeah. One hit one. And yet he still lives. Sovereign bastard. Guys, it's just a floater. Destroyed the entire building. Now, somebody please just shoot the damn alien in the face. Good. Mac, we can stay. It's here somewhere. Hmm. 
Well, let's see. Commander, you can... Uh, ah, you see uh, something. You're racking up the kills nicely uh, lately. We might have to check out your stats in a bit, see how much you've improved, how, much, how many kills you got. I mean, this is how I like to scout. Just the guy that's, that spots the alien, takes a shot, and that's just it. Not six guys needed to auto shot and, uh, and again and again and again. Just spot them, kill them, next. That's a bit uh, lucky there. Yeah, not a scratch on you. And all of a sudden, uh, Heavy Plasma can, can now punch through walls just fine. When, when I tried it uh, a while ago, when it was really needed, it didn't work at all. <laughs> you have so many grenades. Okay, so far so good. Let's get Mafatu out there. You need some fresh air. Not enough time yet, but you can't snapshot, right? Oh, I thought it would be all the commander needs. You see three aliens? That's massively crowded. Maybe it's a good thing that you're blocking the access lift. Yeah, there's a hundred delirium in this thing. Well done. And there's one more in the building here. In this building, right? Can't see it. At least not yet. Hmm. There it is. I think it's pretty safe to just stay put down here. No line of fire. I think you can chuck a grenade up there, if need be. Hello. That's lucky, you could have easily reacted. They're panicking, and I'm hearing doors. Well, let's feed the commando another kill. He deserved it. But there is one more outside somewhere. And could be very well in this building here to the left. There's plenty of doors in that one. Maybe there's somewhere... Okay, there's another door here. No, this is clean. Damn it, plenty of doors on this map. These ones haven't been opened though. No! Ah! Damn it! That's so bad! There's no backup! I can't get there in time! Oh no, I was like, yay, he lives! I can help him out with the second soldier! This is one hell of a crowded UFO! Yeah, let's be thorough out here. The Age of Devilkin is looking poor for the moment. It's a fine commander. I was just about to check out the stats after this mission. But the second I start liking a soldier, <laughs> it just immediately gets punished. This is the guy that was opening the doors, uh, no doubt. He's unarmed. Okay, our commander is still alive. There's a floater on top of his lift, though. Let's get somebody in there with some time units. Mufatu. Save him. The Age of Devilkin. <laughs> in the balance. Oh no, no, misclick and park yourself in front of the door so nobody can get in. Puff me at them. Where did you go? Where did you go? Our commander's back on his feet, uh, I think. There's a guy standing there without a weapon. 
Yeah, Delkin's back with 9 health. I guess that means that you will be out of commission for quite a bit. Which means the honor falls on Mafatu to clean out the UFO. And we have found our motherfucker here. Nicely done with Vato. Bit lucky that they didn't react. Still more of them out there. Let's uh, get your gun back. You're gonna get some payback even. Oh crap. This is the guy with the stun launcher, right? Yep. <laughs> Let's hug him in that case. Because he's the guy with the stun launcher. Yeah, this looks to be cleaned out rather nicely. Mafatu has maybe some more customers. Yes, he does. And that is it. We got the guy with the stun launcher alive. We lost one guy, but uh, by the skin of our teeth, we pulled our commander out of there. Now let's quickly save the game on screen over any save game, because I've had it with st stuff uh, not saving, crashing, bugging out. And in the next video, we'll continue. See you then. Bye-bye.